So I hope you've had fun searching around for some things to make instruments out of and found some cool things. Um, so I'm first all going to experiment with making a string instrument and I'm going to do this by using rubber bands and boxes. Okay, so here we have a tissue box. You see the tissue box is not very strong so I'm not sure how well it's going to hold these bands. Let's see, I've put three on, what sort of sounds we're going to get. Okay, pretty cool. I've got three different sounds because I've chosen three different types of rubber bands. So you're going to find you're going to get a different sound, however tight the rubber band is around the box and also how thick it is. So you're going to have a really good experiment. And you try different boxes because you'll get different effects with different boxes. So this one's much more rigid. You can hear it, it resonates a little bit better than the tissue box. And even you can have a go at putting elastic bands on a different sort of container. This is just a plastic pot, a plastic pot. And again, you get it's quite a nice big shape, this, and it's quite rigid, this plastic. We're getting a better resonance in it, so it makes a nice satisfying singing sound. I wonder if I can get another note. Just try a different band. I don't want it to break. Let's try this green one. I can wrap it. Oh, wrap it around about, smashing it. Oh, bit fiddly. <laughs> well, that's the fun as well. Oh, it's definitely going to be high. Hasn't snapped. That's good. That's good. So hopefully it will be higher than this one. On the same, but I can sneakily change them by just moving them. Mm, so, have fun making some rubber band instruments. 